So wh wh why the name Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr.? If you hear the name Dale Earnhardt Jr. Jr., and like in America, you know, NASCAR is like a huge thing, but but no one really uh, no one really takes it seriously. It's like uh, it's like Scottish football. Okay. <laughs> in England. Okay. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you know that there are fans of, of Celtic and Hart, and yet you know an Arsenal fan will just never respect them. So like a sport, I'm an Arsenal fan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Do yeah. you respect Celtic? Uh, not the art. Uh, no, I don't actually. Yeah, there you I'm go. Saying. Okay. Uh, tell me about your music. That we just caught the end of it, and it was uh, don't want to like kiss your asses or anything. But that was it was fantastic. It was it was nice and loud. Who, who writes the music? Both of you together. Who yeah, write that? Is a, the, the drummer does he does he pitch in? No, he doesn't write. He's just he just plays drums live when we have yeah. a live show. Oh, so Daniel Daniel plays drums on a recording. Yeah. Yeah, we just recorded in my basement. How long have you guys been together? A year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah. Wow! No way! Yeah. yeah. So you, uh, yeah. Were you guys in other bands before? Uh -huh. and yeah. Oh yeah, we, we were, were both in bands, bands in Detroit. Yeah. So we, we had known who each other were, and like respected each other, and played shows together and stuff. Yeah. But never really uh, were you know close. And then uh, we just started this project on a whim. I called him. He said he would he would write a song with me, and and then we just started making this music. Perform in um, boiler suits, kind of. Yeah, tell us about the. Oh, they're, are they NASCAR? Yeah, the race, 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 race car. car. Where, where did that come from? <laughs> it's just fun. It goes Honestly. with the fun yeah. aesthetic. Of and, the, and plus, uh, like, it is fun. when you when you when you're driving around the country in a van and you get out you get out of the van uh, and you go on stage, you know, in, in this outfit, you know, it just doesn't really you don't yeah. feel very separate. You get dressed up. When you dress so up, you feel like you're day, performing, you know? and that's I great. Early, early Thank attention. You. Yeah, I, I think it makes it awesome. Well, it helps you get into a certain mode yeah. to be ready to be a performer. When was your first recording? Remember the first day we got together? Yeah, a year and a half ago. Yeah, the oh, first day we Simple got Girl. together, we recorded a song called Simple Girl. It was on the Horsepower EP. You heard it today. But uh, after we wrote that, we were just kind of like, yeah, this might work. Let's keep doing Great. Well, and did you just tell good. your other bands? Yeah, what's the story with your other bands? <laughs> we're still, we're still very much fiction. a part of our other bands. Yeah. But it's just, you know, right now, like, this is, this, people are, people are responding really well. And, um, you know, I think that anyone that says that they make music for, like, strictly for themselves is lying. Like, <laughs> if you, if you make music, I think, you have to make music because you want people to hear it, you know? And if you make music for yourself in your basement, then why would you ever put it out? So anyone that releases a record wants people to hear their music. And so like if people are hearing it and liking it, then you gotta keep making it. And that's and that's that's what it's all about, you know? Do you find it hard like to balance your time now between like this project and your other one? Oh, that's more for him. He's, no, he's so busy right now. Yeah, but right now, like, I was in the band The Great Fiction for 10 years in Detroit, and right now the focus is Dale Earnhardt. I have other projects too, but this is, you know, this, when I when I have to do something for Dale Earnhardt, I do something for Dale Earnhardt Jr. <laughs> Jr. You know? There's always time, you know? There's always enough time for for creative energy. Like, if you, especially if you, you know, if you don't have, like, a day job, you know, you can always make time to write for whatever you want to write for, I think. Yeah, more